what are you seeing? Well, Gabriella, we are at War Parkway in Wyandotte, and you can just see protesters face to face with police here. Police are blocking off the road. We have seen in the last 15 minutes more protesters come to this side of the Country Club Plaza. They're in the streets, they're on the sidewalks, they're holding signs, they're talking to police, chanting at police, yelling at police. Um, and that's what's happening here. We saw uh, about 10 other officers um, come down to this side of the street and block off this street. Again, this entire street is blocked off. They're not allowing anyone in to this area. Um, uh, like you mentioned, the fire has been put out. There were two fires, the police cruiser as well as a fire outside of T-Loft. Those have both since been put out. So again, the, all that's happening out here on our end, our protesters here in the streets, on the sidewalks, um, holding signs, chanting, um, and just standing face to face with police officers here. Again, I'm at Ward Parkway and Wyandotte, Gabby. Mackenzie, I know you've been out there for hours, and as protesters come closer to that line where you are, what are the things that they're saying to the police in riot gear lined up? You know, Gabriella, what I'm hearing right now is just frustration. Um, these protesters that are here today, they wanted their voices to be heard, and they are trying to make that happen. They are yelling, um, they are talking, they have their signs, um, but they just want police to hear them. And, and as we heard um, from Kevin Holmes, uh, the protester that he interviewed, he want, uh, the protester said they wanted their voices to be heard, they wanted there to be a community um, sense um, from police, they wanted police to acknowledge them and I think that's what's happening here is as these protesters come face to face with police the police have been listening they're standing here hearing everything that is being said and they have not acted on anything yet they have not asked protesters to move back to the sidewalks they're allowing them to be in the street face to face with them uh, and they have not asked anyone to move at this point where we're at they're just not allowing them through right now thank you so much Mackenzie and speaking of Kevin we will go back out to Kevin right now Kevin, in, the, in this protest where we're watching a line of law enforcement and a line of protesters come face to face, what are the conversations that are happening, if any, and are law enforcement responding? No, uh, law enforcement is not. They are not responding for the most part from what I'm seeing. They're being pretty stoic. But uh, one of the conversations I witnessed was someone screaming with passion, stop killing us, stop killing us, we want justice. Uh, of course, that was some of the more calm conversations, uh, some of them a bit more tense right here, but for the most part, the police officers here are standing their ground. Off in the distance right there is where you saw several of those small bombs that are deployed, and it appears as if some of the demonstrators actually tossed them back in the directions of the police officers. There have been a few fires here as a result here in the J.C. Nichols Plaza, as some of the flashbacks have made their way here, but those fires were quickly put out here on the plaza. Again, uh, several of the demonstrators are now actually in the streets, it appears, from where we're standing right now. And some of them are actually kind of videotaping. Again, back to answer your question, those who are here with the police officers here, you can see they're right here, just feet away from where I'm standing right now. And when demonstrators are making their way to the police officers, they're around the pond here where I'm standing right now. You can see they are in full tactical gear, including the gas mask. Screaming passionately, stop killing us, listen to us. We want you to hear what this. You heard that demonstrator we interviewed earlier. She wants them to be uh, one community, not just police on one side and the demonstrators on the other, but one Kansas City. It's kind of some of the sentiments that she echoed uh, a short while ago here. But again, things are still kind of tense right now. As uh, a short while ago, there was a heavy pool of smoke off in the distance as they deployed some of those uh, bombs. And another one has just now made its way here. As you see, some of the demonstrators running around the J.C. Nichols Plaza. That has pretty much been the back and forth between the police and the demonstrators here from where I'm standing for at least the last 20 minutes or so. And things at some, at some moments are pretty, pretty hectic. We can even hear people banging on uh, some of the equipment here or some of the, the structures here in the park. And earlier today, I heard police officers, you can hear them kind of banging on their, on their shields. Those of them that have the shields right now to try and uh, keep the police officers, uh, I'm sorry, keep the protesters here in the park off of the street.
streets as they have opened several of the streets awesome. in this area. And as one of the demonstrators just told me, I guess things are starting to make their way closer to where we're standing right now. So we're going to make sure we assess the scene, make sure that we stay safe in this area, and we'll still let you know what happens here. But again, right over here, not too far from where we are right now, some of the several smoke that you see somebody attempted to kick it back in the direction of the police officer. So that has been pretty much the scene that we have witnessed here for at least the last 20 minutes or so from where we're standing here right here at the plaza. I'm actually on in the plaza right now, not terribly far from the fountain, right across from those of you who know the area, right across the street from uh, uh, Rye and from P.F. Chang's. And so just to put things in perspective, for those of you who may be on the plaza, you can see all the debris still on the ground. You can see several of the sky cars still here. We've seen several vans, several EMTs make their way around the scene as well. And just trying to one side have their voices heard and the other side uh, is, 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 is responding. Uh, we'll send things back to you in the studio. Thank you so much, Kevin. Earlier when we joined, Kevin, we saw those cans getting kicked back and forth that were emitting smoke. Nick, are you seeing anything like that?